Now let us look at the cross entropy, binary cross entropy loss for binary classification. Binary cross entropy loss measures the performance of a classification model whose output is a probability. So the output should be a continuous number between zero and one, between zero and one. Now the cross entropy loss or the log loss penalizes both types of errors but especially those predictions that are confident and wrong. So if you're making a prediction and uh, you are wrong, but you are confidently wrong, then you have very high loss or very high error for those kinds of predictions. Overall, loss increases as the predicted probability diverges from the actual labels, zero or one. So if your actual label is zero, and you're predicting a probability of 0.98, then that's when you get a very high loss. Or if your actual label is one and you're predicting a probability of 0.02, then that's also when you get a very high loss. For example, predicting probability of 0.12, when the actual observation level is one would result in a high loss value. Similarly, predicting 0.97 when the true label is zero results in a high loss. Now let's look at the log function for a moment to understand how the cross entropy loss works. So the picture below, picture here, shows how the log of an input x behaves. So if in x-axis I have x and in y-axis I'm plotting the log, so y is log of x, then the blue line here shows the nature of the log, uh, log function. Now so log, naturally, as x increases at the beginning, um, our log x increases very rapidly, um, I mean, quickly, but then it tapers away, as we can see, it doesn't go as, as, as um, um, like, you know, as, as fast, as quickly higher as, as um, in the lower ranges. But in our case, what we have is that our input or, or the output of a model, so models, models output, ranges between zero and one, right? So our interest of the loss that we apply on the input, uh, so the log that we apply on the input, is in the green box region, where our input for the log is actually between the range of zero to one. So this green box represents the behavior of the loss function, which is of our interest. By default, when we talk about log, this is what comes to our mind first, but this is not what we are interested in because our input ranges from zero to one. So if we focus on this, then uh, if we enlarge it and rotate it, this is how the plot looks like. Particularly for the case of when the true label is one. So say for example, the actual label for a data point is one and uh, in X axis, we represent the various cases of predicted probabilities. So if the actual level is one and the model predicts a probability of one, then the loss is zero, the log loss is zero. If the output of the, the actual output is one and the model say predicts a probability of um, 0 0.2, then the log loss is around two. But if the output level is one and the model predicts a probability of very low, something like zero, then the output becomes very, very high as you can see here. Right, so this is how log loss penalizes for confident but very wrong predictions. Now, since log of uh, input that is less than one is actually negative, we have to add a minus sign in front of the cross entropy function. Um, I mean, the cross entropy function has a minus sign so that the loss actually comes out positive. So that's why we see the minus sign in front of the cross entropy loss. So the basic idea behind, here's the implementation of the binary cross entropy loss. It simply takes two values, predicted value and the, the correct label. So Y can be either zero or one. And the prediction value can be between zero and one, a continuous value between zero and one. If y is one, we want to return negative log of the input predicted probability. This actually should be negative log of p, negative log of prediction. And uh, if y is zero, so this is the case when y is zero, we want to return the negative log of 
1 minus probability. This is because if the input label is true, then we want to simply calculate the log of the predicted probability such that if predicted value, this is very close to 1, then uh, the loss becomes close to 0. However, when y is 0, then since the predicted probability, what we want is actually also close to 0, calculating log of a number very close to 0 is uh, a bad idea. So what we want to simply do is take 1 minus predicted value so, so that this becomes, if you're actually predicting something very close to 0, then this becomes log of 1 minus something very close to 0 becomes a uh, uh, a 1 as well and overall returning a number that's very close to 0. Your loss will be very low. On the other hand, if your y is 0 and your predicted probability is very high, say for example, prediction is close to 1, then negative log of 1 minus something very close to 1 becomes log of a very small number and then that gives you a very high um, loss as well. You often see that the binary cross entropy loss is written in this way, in this equation as shown here. And the way this equation is written is that it encompasses both cases. That is the case of checking y equals 1 and the case of checking y equals 0. And this is um, added by multiplying the log error with y and 1 minus y. So if the input y is the correct label is actually one, then uh, this term um, this term evaluates the loss and the other term vanishes out because one minus one will be zero. And the opposite when y equals zero. So when y equals zero, this term vanishes out, the first term vanishes out, but the second term is the one that effectively calculates the loss.